there are horror games, and then there are game bosses that make you want to throw the controller and just scream your head right off. But hey, if you've done that, we're not judging. We've asked around to find out who the most feared bosses are by video gamers around the world. Do you think your favorite made it to this list? Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. Today, we're counting down the top 10 scary AF video game bosses that made even grown men cry for their mamas. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more spine-tingling videos. Whether it's because of the jump scares, the extremely tense environment, or the horrifying storyline, there's something about horror games that makes you both want to stop and keep going at the same time. And when it comes to these games, the scarier the boss, the better. But how do you beat a boss that you can't even look at without jumping out of your chair? Just like our first boss on this list, at number 10 we have Alma Wade from Fear. Something about children just makes them really great at being spooky. Alma, for example, may just be a little girl, but she is the key figure and main antagonist of the Fear series. A victim out to seek revenge against the people who used her for cruelty experiments, Alma is a powerful and angry psychic that you wouldn't want to cross. She'll hunt you throughout the game with her creepy gifts and vivid, horrifying hallucinations. Just can't decide which is scarier though. Alma's haunting or finding out about the horrors they've inflicted on this poor girl. At number 9, we have Clotho, God of War 2. I don't know about you, but Clotho reminds me so much of Jabba the Hutt. If Jabba had a human's face, was immortal, and seriously bigger. Just look at the size of that thing. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep! Clotho is the secondary antagonist in God of War 2 and is the youngest of the Sisters of Fate. As the goddess of the past, she creates the threads of fate. Oh wait, so that's why her design is based on a silkworm. Uh. That's rather unfair to her though, given how so much more beautiful she is usually described in mythology. Here, she is a disgusting, massive human silkworm hybrid with scaly blue skin, long white hair, multiple flabby arms, and several sagging breasts. No wonder she made it to the top of Screw Addict's list of ugliest chicks in gaming. At number 8, we have Marguerite Baker, Resident Evil 7. If you think your mother can get scary when you forget to take out the trash, Try refusing one of Marguerite's delicious dinners. This hysterical housewife gets so violent she makes angry moms around the world look like saints. Once a loving wife and mother of two, she unfortunately got infected by the human bioweapon, Evelyn. Since then, she became full-on Hannibal Lecter, serving human body parts as meals. She can also control swarms of insects and even harbors a hive in her tummy. Sheesh. Somebody give this mom a chill pill. Still from the Resident Evil franchise, at number 7, Nemesis, Resident Evil 3. Getting chased down by a boss is always fun, unless perhaps you are getting chased for an entire game. Also known as the Pursuer, Nemesis T-Type served as the final boss in Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. He was also the antagonist in the 2004 Resident Evil Apocalypse. Nemesis is like a creepy stalker made at least 10 times scarier following you around throughout the game, appearing out of nowhere right when you least expect him to. Large, scary, and relentless, this bioorganic weapon was created by Umbrella Corpse to eradicate its enemies. Nemesis is extremely effective in tracking down STARS members and ruthlessly kills its enemies with the rocket launcher mounted on his arm. If Badass were a person, it'd probably look like him. Next up, at number 6, Omega Flowey, Undertale. Next to the big meanies earlier, Flowey doesn't seem so bad. At the start of Undertale, this smiling flower actually looks rather cute and innocent. 
But wait till you get to the end of the game and he makes a comeback. Only this time, you come face to face with a grotesque, demented humanoid flower. Photoshop Flowey, or Omega Flowey as fans call him, has a contorted human face. Six curved pipes, one for each time he consumed a human soul, cactus-like appendages, and a TV monitor sitting on top of his head. What makes Omega Flowey really spooky is the black and white face that appears on that monitor. Creeped out yet? We're halfway through this list, so you're gonna want to switch the lights on because we're bringing back the source of your childhood nightmares. At number 5, we have Dead Hand, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Even before Sadako made people develop a fear of wells, Dead Hand has been doing just the same to gamer fans of RPG adventure hybrid game franchise, The Legend of Zelda. Waiting for you at the bottom of the well in Ocarina of Time is the mini-boss, Dead Hand. A horrifying undead blob with a gaping mouth and sharp hands you're gonna want to steer clear of. But if getting trapped in a well is scary, getting trapped in outer space with an alien is just flat out terrifying. At number 4 we have Xenomorph, Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation takes survival horror to a different level as players struggle to stay alive in outer space. This ingenious alien does not like the play fair. It uses advanced AI technology to track you down, so there's literally no such thing as a good hiding spot when you're up against him. Stay in one place a few seconds too long and this ultimate predator is sure to catch you. You can try to shake it off with flamethrowers and other tools you can get your hands on. But really, the best thing to do is just to run like your life depended on it. Cause here, it does. We're flying right back to Earth as we get to number 3. Gigas Earthbound One of the most difficult bosses to beat, Gigas is one of those enemies you can't easily kill without praying, or checking out walkthroughs for tips. As the main antagonist of Earthbound, Gigas is the gaming world's Voldemort. He is the embodiment of all, except he doesn't actually have a body. Because of all the power he's consumed, his own body and mind has been destroyed leaving in its place a ghastly appearance that just gets more and more haunting as you inflict damage onto it. He also gets a kick out of influencing humans and humans to become distressed and violent. Next up, the salutatorian of bosses that scar you for life. At number 2, Pyramid Head of Silent Hill 2. Appearing first on the second game, Pyramid Head has become the most famous icon of the Silent Hill franchise. This horror masterpiece relies on more than just spooky designs and creepy backstories. It's disturbingly good because of how deep and complex it is. The monsters that lurk the town of Silent Hill represent different aspects of James Sunderland's psyche. Our big boy, Pyramid Head, is the embodiment of James's long for repentance. Pyramid Head's introduction to the game is easily one of the spookiest cutscenes in the gaming world. His design is also equally terrifying with his bloody apron and faceless head. As if it's not enough, he will also keep trying to run after you to take you down with a single blow of his gigantic sword. We're finally down to the final boss on this list, but before that, here's an honorable mention that would have probably landed the top spot if only the game wasn't cancelled. Lisa from Silent Hills PT Despite the hour or so runtime, this tech demo has earned a name among the scariest games of all time. The demo puts you in the shoes of a character experiencing a terrifying loop walking a haunted hallway over and over again. Your companion, Lisa, the twitching, crying, heavily breathing ghost that almost gave gamers a heart attack. But who do you think is the boss that shent shivers down our spines the most? At number one, we have Laura, the evil within. 
one of the most underrated horror games ever. The Evil Within is full of monstrosities that are sure to give you a fright. But out of all these creatures, Laura really takes the cake as the most terrifying. This hellish, twisted monster has four clawed arms and crawls like an animal. She suddenly appears out of a bloody corpse and starts screaming like Banshee. What's worse is that she can be horribly difficult to defeat. She's nearly invincible to bullets, can move devilishly fast, and can kill you in just one hit. Her only weakness is fire, so if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, you're gonna have to set her body aflame many times over before you can take her down. We're curious to know which of these bosses took you the longest to defeat. Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit that bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.